Okay, boys, you ready to do a tier list to one of the best filmmakers of all time? You're damn right Fuck I am. Fuck yes, I love Christopher Nolan. Okay, first we have his first movie, Following. I don't know about you guys, but for me this is C tier. While it's a solid directorial debut, it lacks the polish and refinement that would later be realized in Memento. Um, I see where you are coming from, Barack, but I disagree. Following is a great movie considering the micro-budget Chris was constrained to. The whole thing was made for a budget of 6,000 pounds, and its creative ways that it worked around the budget were masterful. A tier easy. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I agree with Donald on this one. It's a great throwback to the French New Wave films of the 1950s and to the Golden Age crime noir films of pre-code Hollywood. S-tier easy. Just because it reminds you of the movies you saw when you were five doesn't mean it's a masterpiece, Joe. Yes, the New Wave influences were refreshing to see again, but its lighting and camera movement clashed with the gritty pre-code story which it was trying to tell. And in the end, it just ended up being a weird in-between. That being said, I'm fine with putting it into B-tier if it means we can get on with this list. I can live with that. I don't like it, but since it's two to one, I'll accept B tier. Okay, now onto an obvious S tier movie, Memento. Any objections? Nope. Meh, I'd put it in A tier. All the best Christopher Nolan movies have some sort of spectacle in it. While the story and editing is S tier, there was no other part of the filmmaking that blew my mind with its expertise. Donald, you bring up a good point, but I need to remind you that this was only his second movie and also had a small budget. He's got you there, Donald. Fine, I'll give in, but I'm not going to play nicely later on in the list. Okay, next is Insomnia. Easy C tier for me. Obama, are you fucking retarded? Insomnia is his most underrated work. Yeah, that's a whack take, Barack. Joe, you can't be serious. Not only did it continue his gritty crime novel style, but it gave us one of Robin Williams's best antagonist performances. Not to mention the great performance from Al Pacino. Oh, for fuck's sake, Al Pacino gave a better performance than Jack and Jill. All he does is look tired for the majority of the movie. Hell, that's probably why you like it so much, Joe. Suck my wrinkly balls, Barack. Oh, damn, we got friendly fire between the libtards. Shut up, Trump. Your party is fucked, and you know it. I'll put Insomnia in B tier, but that's the highest I'll go. Fuck that. Insomnia deserves A tier. What do you think, Joe? A tier, easy. Biden, you fucking Benedict Arnold. I'm sorry, Barack. Your take is whack. Fuck this list. All right, up next, Batman Begins. Honestly, I think this is C tier as well. While revolutionary at the time, the editing is shit, and the story and characters aren't nearly as interesting as the other two installments. Agreed, it was a great start in comparison to Batman and Robin, but I honestly have very little interest to revisit the movie. Can't believe I'm agreeing with you two libtards, but based opinions are aisle neutral, it seems. Okay, now on to one of my favorites, The Prestige. Not as good as Memento, in my opinion, but still an easy A tier. It saddens me to say it, but I haven't seen this movie. What the fuck, Joe? How the hell haven't you seen The Prestige? It's a fucking classic. I thought I had, but it turns out I saw The Illusionist by accident. Sleepy Joe, you moron. Oh, come on, it's an easy mistake. No, Joe, it's not. The Illusionist is at its core, a love story. Man, fuck you two. Just rank it already. Trump, are you fine with it being an A tier? I can support that. While I would personally put it in S tier, I can understand how it would lose its impact over multiple viewings. It's settled then, A tier. Next, The Dark Knight. S -tier. S tier. No doubt, the story is great. Heath Ledger steals every scene he's in. Hans Zimmer's score is fucking fire. And action scenes are improved not only in spectacle, but in clarity, thanks to the use of IMAX cameras and less frequent editing. Okay, next is another S tier movie, Inception. I have to stop you right there, Obama. Inception is overrated AF. Trump, what the fuck are you talking about? Inception is easily his undisputed masterpiece. It effortlessly weaves multiple storylines, has amazing spectacle, great production design, great cast. Hans Zimmer's time theme is awesome, and that ending is one for the ages. That ending is trash. The fucking top was wobbling near the end, and everyone knows it. Donald, you moronic toad. That wasn't the real point you were supposed to get from the movie. It doesn't matter if the top was going to fall over. The point was that Cobb didn't care what reality was anymore. Yeah, in a way, he was kind of like the original MAGA voter. Eat my dick cheese, Joe. That election was rigged. Inception is B-tier at best. The logistics of extraction and time within dreams is bullshit. The only time dreams feel like years are when you're tripping balls on DMT. Plus, a dream world without sex? What kind of dream world is that? Nolan was aiming for a PG-13 rating Don. Plus, sex adds nothing to a movie's plot. So? You honestly gonna tell me you didn't want to see Marion Cotillard's tits in IMAX? No, Donald, I didn't. I would have loved to see Ellen Page's, however. Joe, you fucking dipshit, don't dead name Elliot Page. You're going to get us canceled. Also gross, he looked like a 16-year-old back then. Probably why he wanted to see them. Eat my ass, Donald. I'll give it to you that the story is hard to follow at times, Donald, but the fact you can't follow it is a you problem. I agree. Even with my sleepy ass, I was able to follow it. 
Put it in S tier before he tries to claim the tier list is rigged. Fuck this list. Okay, time to put the Dark Knight Rises in D tier. Hold the fuck up, you black bastard. Yo, Trump, what the fuck, I will fuck, send man? the Proud Boys to your house if you put that movie in anything less than B tier. Trump, you seriously can't tell me that you like this movie. It's straight garbage. If we had an F tier, I'd put it's it in there. It's a great movie. Wrong. The only thing that deserves an F are your shitty hot takes, Barack. No fucking way. This movie is trash. Joe, back me up on this. I think you're being too harsh on Rises as well, Barack. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Not you too, Joe. Haha, <laughs> suck it, Obama. While it's nowhere as good as The Dark Knight, it was an epic masterpiece of a movie to watch in IMAX back in 2012. The Rises chant the football stadium demolition, the Wall Street brawl, and Anne Hathaway's portrayal of Catwoman are enough to put it into B tier for me. Joe, you just like it because Anne Hathaway's hair looks like it smells good. Yes, I do, and it's a great movie. Let me remind you of the bullshit in this movie because you obviously can't remember it. It's fucking long as hell. Bruce Wayne isn't Batman for most of the movie. Joseph Gordon-Levitt becomes Robin at the end of the movie for no fucking reason, and Batman fakes his own death like a little bitch. While that scene with Alfred and Bruce at the end is cringe, I still have to disagree with you. The movie is just too damn entertaining to not be in B-tier. I agree, B-tier. Fuck you, Joe. God, I fucking hate this list. Sucks to suck, Barack. Okay, up next is Interstellar. B-tier top. No fucking way, Trump. Interstellar is Nolan's most most passionate film to date. It has amazing visuals, interesting characters, educational information about the workings of time, and cinema's first realistic black hole. Agreed. Murph and Cooper are played to perfection, and if you didn't cry at least one time in that movie, you're a soulless man. Didn't cry once. Not because I'm soulless, but because I'm not an easily manipulated bitch like you two. Hans Zimmer's score does most of the heavy lifting in those emotional scenes. Speaking of which, what the fuck is with the sound mixing in that movie? I feel like a priest is shoving my head into an organ every time I watch the fucking thing. It was a creative decision, Donald. Yeah, a creative decision that sucked. Speaking of which, what the hell was with that reveal of Matt Damon? It was fucking pointless. It was like, oh, you didn't see him on the poster, did you? Gotcha. It was so needless and masturbatory on Nolan's part. It was like he was trying to be a micro M. Night Shyamalan. I have to agree with Trump. That reveal is a bit cringe in retrospect. That being said, the soundtrack is baller, and even with my old ass ears, I wanted it louder. S tier. Agree, S tier. You guys are so fucking retarded. Quit bitching, faggot. Easy with the homophobic slurs, Joe. You've already pissed them off with the Elliot Page comment. Now on to Dunkirk. Easy A tier for me. Finally, Barack, you have a good take. That movie is a masterpiece. Seeing it in IMAX on opening night was unforgettable. It might be his least entertaining spectacle movie, but it was respectful to the fallen heroes of World War II. And it had the intensity of saving Private Ryan without the latter's overly long You guys are dumb. This movie is a C-tier Nolan movie at best. What is your deal, Joe? This is easily top-tier Nolan. If we're talking about the shits he's taken, yes. Joe, explain yourself before I come over to your house and kill you. The movie is just one constant suspenseful action scene after another. It has no character development, no interesting characters, no blood. The non-linear storytelling was pointless, and the movie's color grading is unnecessarily ugly. It's ugly because war is ugly, you dumb fuck. Fuck off, Trump. If Fury Road taught me anything, it's that action movies don't need to be ugly and color graded to look like Man of Steel. Don't you talk shit about Man of Steel, you bastard. Zack Snyder is a god. Men, please shut the fuck up. Look, these are good points, Joe, but the movie is too well crafted. The lowest I'll go is B tier, and that's because I like you. I'll accept B tier. Don't you dare lower Dunkirk to B tier. Don't be a pussy, Trump. You fucking black people and pedophiles ruin everything. God damn it, Trump. Stop talking that racist shit, or I'm not inviting you to my June 19th cookout. No, no, please. I take it back. I take it back. That's what I thought, bitch. All right, on to Tenet. Can we all agree this deserves C tier? I'd give it D tier, to be honest. The sound mixing was enough to make me walk out of the theater and ask for a refund, and I ended up watching the movie at home with subtitles on. Lame that you walked out of it, Joe. That being said, I agree with you on the sound mixing. Even with my 2020 hearing, I couldn't understand shit. The plot was worse than Transformers 2, and for some reason, the aspect ratio changed every two seconds in IMAX. To top it off, those characters were bland as hell. The only redeeming aspect of the movie were the set pieces. And the long legs on Elizabeth Debicki. Straight facts, Joe. And what about the kitchen fight with the cheese grater? Oh, yeah, that was dope as fuck, too. Thanks for reminding me. For that, give it C-tier, Barack. Well, there's the list, boys. In my opinion, it's trash, but it's still better than the Halo TV show we got, so that's something. Oh, Jesus, Barack, never bring that up. I still have PTSD from that bullshit. You guys want to go see Oppenheimer in July? I'm down for that. Same. While you two drive me nuts, there isn't anyone else I'd rather go see a new Christopher Nolan movie with. Same, bro. I'll make sure to get us opening night tickets in IMAX. Question, Barack. Film IMAX or laser IMAX? Film IMAX, Joe. Always film. We aren't a bunch of normies. Talk to you guys tomorrow. I gotta talk yay out of going DEFCON 1 on the Jews again. Okay, see you, Don. Send you my love. Will do. Later, fellas.